She's pathetic. And a borderline stalker finds any and every excuse to be near Patrick. It's difficult to seduce a man from long distance. Seduce? She has all the sophistication and sexuality of a third grader. The only thing she's good for is babysitting. She must be good for more than that. Patrick asked her to babysit a couple of times. And so Sabrina worked that into a holy calling. The woman is a total incompetent. She's clumsy, easily flustered. I mean, she's, she's a professional embarrassment, not remotely qualified to be in medicine. But she got Patrick's daughter to like her, and as long as Patrick keeps listening to Emma, Sabrina has the inside track. When faced with a problem, a surgeon removes with precision and all haste. I know. And yet, you fail to act. I don't understand you, Britta. You've been given every advantage. And the hardest part is the problem was removed before you even met the man. What do you mean? The wife. Yeah, I've heard much too much about the all same to Dr. Scorpio Drake. I sympathized with Patrick's loss, and, and I sung his late wife's praises until my teeth hurt. I don't understand why you can't get this done, Britta. You have a certain beauty, to say nothing of the intellect you inherited from myself and your father. Fine, I'll, fine, I'll, I'll use my intellectual superiority and I'll, I'll figure out a way to get Patrick back. What is your plan? Um, well, my, my last one went down in flames, so you're gonna have to give me a minute and I'll, I'll think of an alternative. Perhaps I should bring your father in after no. all. No. He would be very disappointed in you. Clearly you need guidance, Britta. You've made a mess of things on your own. Please leave Papa out of this. That would be my preference. But I think he'd want to know about your troubles. I'm fine. No, Shotzi, or not. And you know your father. He only wants what's best for you. And if he has to intervene personally, he will do whatever is necessary to... I don't... I don't need his help. If you can promise me that you'll redouble your efforts, I might I not promise. tell you. I promise. Just don't call Papa. I'll keep your lack of efforts to myself for the time being. After all, Muta is here to show you how a strong woman gets what she wants, no matter who stands in my way. Hey, Luke. Laura? Commissioner, um, they were safely evacuated. I just stayed to lock down the site. Oh, okay, good. Right, good work. Get the guys in. The site is clear. You guys can come on in. So take me through everything you know? Okay. Uh, uh, Hicks and I were in the hall, yeah. and we heard Miss Spencer uh, call for help, mm -hmm. and she said someone was shooting. Um, so I sent Hicks down to check the street, and uh, I entered the premises, and um, Mr. Spencer spotted the shooter as he ran from the building across the street. All right, so we've got teams in the area. We should have them converge on that building to find out if anyone saw anything. And then I'll get the detective over to the hospital. Is that where Luke and Laura is? Yeah. yeah? No. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'll make a statement when they can. Good. I thought you said they were okay. Oh, yeah, they're fine. <clears throat> Their visitor caught the bullet. He, uh, he's bleeding pretty bad. Well, what visitor are you talking about? Uh, the woman said his name was uh, Nicholas. I have a GSW to the chest with massive blood loss. BP 74 for 42, pulse 142, respirations 34 shallow and diminished on the right side. Okay, let's move them. On three, and one, two, three. Start a second line, get a tech and cross for four units, DIC panel and BMP. Start them on a rebreather at 10 liters. We're gonna be okay, the doctors are gonna come. Hey, Nicholas, where's Lulu? Do you know who took her? Did Helena take my daughter, Nicholas? Nurse, get them out of here. You heard the doctor, you have to leave the room. Lou? Laura? Elizabeth? Nurse, where would we need line and labs? Nicholas! I don't need your help, Mother. Of course you do. We'll put our heads together and come up with a strategy to dispatch that leech. No, Patrick and Sabrina aren't even together. He, he has no romantic... Then edge. what was that telephone call? 
You phoned me in the middle of the night, drunk and maudlin and wallowing yeah, in self-pity. It, it may have been something to do with the pain from my broken leg on top of losing Patrick. My point exactly. You said you lost him to that girl. So we will do whatever is necessary to pry them apart. Even if Sabrina were out of the way, uh, there's the daughter. Thank God. First a lowly nursing student and now a child. Can't you do anything right? I tried. I, I, I was cheerful and, and kind and I even brought presents. It was useless. I mean, a, a person could sit under a giant umbrella on the dark side of the moon and still not feel as much shade from that brat as I got. How hard can it be to mother a little girl? Maybe I'd done better if my own mother had even a shred of maternal instinct. I would remind you not to speak to me that way. I am your mother. I brought you into this world, and I can take you out. Is Lulu close to Nicholas Cassidy? No, I, I don't know. The guy, he lives in Europe. Look, can I, I gotta go and get it on No. You need to talk to me about this. I need to find out about Nicholas. Do you think his shooting has something to do with your wife's disappearance? How would I know? I don't know. I don't know. Like I just said, he lives in Europe. He lives in Italy, some, like, Lake Como or something so like that. So what brought him back? And what is his relationship to Lulu and the Spencers? Please, I cannot. I can't. I just, I can't do this right now. This, every detail can turn into a lead. You know that. Come on, talk. Come on. Nicholas is Laura's child with Stavros Cassidy. Okay, Luke, Luke never really took to him, but, but the, the siblings got along fine, probably, probably a little too well. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Look, Nicholas and Elizabeth had an affair, and everyone thought that Elizabeth's youngest son, Aiden, was his child. Is that why Lucky left her? No, I don't know why Lucky left. The DNA test proved that Lucky was the parent, so I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Nicholas left to give them some space. I don't know. So how did Lulu feel about that? She was upset. She, okay. she was upset. Okay, they were close. I mean, not, they didn't hang out. I mean, Nicholas is older, and, and he's a Cassidyne, and Spencer's and Cassidyne's don't exactly hang out, but he was devoted to her. He saved her life. What happened? She had an illness as a child, and she needed a bone marrow transplant, and they couldn't find a match. Until Nicholas. Okay, got it. Right. right, okay, so no one knew that he existed except for Laura. He was living with the Cassidyne's in Greece, with his uncle who died or something. Yeah, Stefan. Okay. So, he saved Lulu's life, and his existence nearly tore the Spencers apart, okay? Good? Can no, I go I'm now, not please? good. Come on. I'm gonna walk through this. All right, because look, if the Cassidy's are responsible for Lulu's disappearance, and it's looking more and more likely, then is Nicholas involved in that? What happened? He came to see Lulu at her apartment. We were just talking to him, and then out of nowhere, somebody shot him through the window. He knows something about where Lulu is. I need to talk to him. BP is dropping. Nurse Weber, where are we on those labs? He doesn't know we outside. I can't leave my son. Listen, no. he, I have to speak to him because he knows where Lulu is. Okay, the doctor says you've got to be out. I am his mother. I will keep out of the way, I promise, but I'm staying. If the doctor says you clear this room, then you're out. Understood. Hey, listen, I have got to talk to him because he knows where my daughter is. Look, if you get this boy's mama thrown out of this room, she will never forgive you. I know I wouldn't. So you just stay out of the way and let us save his life. No, Nicholas is not involved. He would do anything for Lou. Yeah, but you just said that he's been staying in Europe over the past few years, which means that he's closer to the Cassidines than he is the Spencers. So they could have influenced him some way. They could have turned him. Who do you think's been paying for Laura's uh, Paris apartment and all her expensive medical treatments? I don't know. Nicholas has. Okay, so that just means he's fabulously wealthy. I mean, it doesn't necessarily follow that he's pure of heart. The entire family is wealthy, but they're all blatantly evil. Is that Alexis has managed to keep her distance? Nicholas wouldn't hurt. No, no. But uh, he would protect her. The family's notorious for turning on their own. I don't think Helena would have any qualms about silencing him. I'm telling you, Lulu told me that Nicholas is the only one Helena ever cared about. I'm judging by the bullet in his gut. Well, then he better live through this because we need to know what he knows. Well, we need to find the shooter. It's one of Helena's people. Commissioner? Yes. Suspect is spotted in the park. Stop crying and pull yourself together. I didn't raise my daughter to crumble at the first sign of adversity. You don't understand. <laughs> I've lost him. I, I, uh, I have no chance of getting him back. Nonsense. You're still alive, aren't you? <laughs> you stand a better chance than that wife of his. There's still hope for you, Britta. 
And even if by some miracle Patrick and the mouse come together, you and I have one guaranteed method of pulling them apart. Come on, Lucky. Pick up, pick up. Luke, did you warn Lucky? I haven't been able to reach him, but I've left a message. I'll keep trying. How's Nick? They're working on him now. Did he say anything about Luke? No, he's barely conscious. Luke, when I find out who did this to my children, I swear to you that I will kill them with my bare hands. Please! Please! please. please. Drop your weapon. Drop Get your down. weapon. I take it away. Put your hands behind your head. Turn around. Nice and slow. That vengeance you seek, count me in. He's got to live, Luke. My son has to live. Nicholas has got something that he needs to tell us about, Lulu. He'll hold on. Believe me, he will hold on. Can we get him upstairs? Not until he stabilizes. BP is still dropping. Give him another unit. Okay, Nicholas. No, Nicholas. It's Elizabeth. Listen to me. You have to fight, okay? I... I... So many people teach you. He's coming, Liz. 